Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Venice Tunes, and this is going to be a random video for you guys. It's going to be basically like I'm not doing my Minecraft series with XNs anymore. Um, just because the fact that it wasn't really getting in many views or anything like that, and it didn't really seem like people were bothered. So, um, when I get my new computer, I will be doing like my own Let's Play sort of thing, but with like mods and stuff like that on my channel. And also, like I want to do um, an adventure map. I want to make an adventure map, but I want to make it, you know, for you guys if you get what I mean so like I'll describe everything what I'm doing what I want to be happening what I want people to be thinking as I'm building say a building or a maze or whatever you know just stuff like that but basically right um, ages ago when creative first came out onto the Xbox version I'm just gonna show you like a little village sort of thing that I made um, it, I haven't finished it like I, I've not been on this for ages but basically this is it at the moment um, just quickly show you, I started off with the bridge, as you can see it's a nice looking decent bridge and for some reason it's raining here but not here. Um, you know, just going to show you like all the houses, I only did like five and then I started like way in the distance there you can see like um, some jail. Uh, well that was meant to be like the prison, but I only managed to do like two towers and then I got really bored and it was just really repetitive so I'll probably do something along this kind of line on... Um, like when I get my new computer, but obviously it'll be like for a purpose kind of things, you know, like an adventure map if you get what I mean. So yeah, that's the bridge, you know, um, it's quite a nice bridge. Basically, um, go over here right now. This was meant to be like, you know, uh, explorers coming from the, the forest or the desert or whatever. You know, they can see a bit of light when it's dark, and like, oh yeah, this must mean that it's a village. As you can see, the flag that um, we have for this village, I don't have a name for the village, I'm just going to call it my village, um, is blue, white, blue, which is quite a nice, decent flag. Every building must have that on. Uh, as you can see in the background, there, there's a village that's actually just a randomly generated village. But yeah, this fire was meant to like represent, you know, um, like, a, like a, a beacon sort of thing, so that travellers knew this was a village or a village was nearby if you just follow it um, and this is a v was supposed to be like a very old watchtower like I will go in I'm in creative now um, yeah it's meant to be like a really old watchtower which I think turned out quite nicely as you can see with the mossy cobblestone and whatnot um, you get up to this bit and then you got up here and you can see like Archers and stuff could see down here if they was getting attacked by the front gates. They could look through here, you know, look at the beacon, look at the the water, um, look at the prison jail, I guess. And then there was meant to be more buildings here. This was meant to be like the kind of the the, the richer part, and, and then just a little bit further up, um, all these chests were meant to have like, you know, uh, bows and arrows and stuff like that. And then there was meant to be a secret one up here. Again, just basically, you know. So they can get an overlook on the town and what not. Um, but however, in my version of this town, like it's 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 abandoned. This 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 watchtower is no longer used, which is why it's like so run down and whatnot. Um, as you can see with all the vines and stuff. But yeah, I think it it the design for this looks really nice, especially in the um, default texture pack. I hate the default texture pack, which is another reason I want to do it on the computer. Because I already have texture packs that I've used already. Um, also, we're going into this now. As you can see, they've got a wall behind the wall where, like, archers and stuff, again, can help defend the town. Um, you know, just, like, get into good positions and pew pew. Like, I sound... Pr pr if you, you've never played Minecraft or anything like that, you probably won't get what I'm saying. But, like, building a village is, like, my main goal. I... I love having these kind of ideas um, and then just being able to build them even if it you know it's out of blocks it's like trying to get as you can see the curved effect on the roofs like the roofs look kind of curvy and you know to do that out of blocks it's really accomplishment this was the first house that I made it's pretty crappy to be honest compared to the rest um, but just so you know I didn't have the same materials that there is now like um, you know call, uh, these things I put these in afterwards I think I can't remember but I know a lot of it is like the kitchens mainly the same like you get a few bookshelves and stuff so I won't uh, show you all that the floors are actually made of ovens not furnaces um, this one has a back garden as well which is just you know this was meant to be like the fishers the fishing house with a, a gate go out onto like the, the pier sort of thing do a bit of fishing 
Um, basically, it's like role playing kind of thing. Like, I don't know why I'm interested in that kind of stuff. I've never done it before, but just like using my imagination to create my own little world. If you get what I mean, and this is like where he hangs the big fish, like stick them on the hooks here. These are meant to be hooks, but you got to use your imagination. So I'll, this video won't be for a lot of people, um, but you know, if you do play Minecraft and you do enjoy it, then you know, you'll understand completely what I'm going on about and the creativity and just stuff like that. Like, I really like how this roof turned out, like, um, you know, it's really spacious. I like, I don't like having like a too high ceiling and stuff like that because it's just... It makes you feel cramped. I'm very. Um, everyone who plays Minecraft says the OCD, but I'm very OCD about like not having a small. You know, head. I, I like to have a lot of headroom, even though it is for this character. Uh, this was one of the last houses that I made. As you can see, a really nice big. This is meant to be like the mayor's kind of house sort of thing. Um, it's really big, spacious. The kitchen's kind of small. Um, oh yeah, and also. Like the fridge has a button on the side, it's just an iron block and a dispenser. I was going to put ice in the dispensers, I think I might have done that to a couple of them already. Um, that way when you press the fridge button, you know, ice pops out. Um, yeah, all the tables are pretty much the same, same as the couches. This one has like a, a bit of a, a rug going on underneath, but this house is like quite special because you got the bedroom up here. And, you know, for like a little kid or something and then here's where the parents sleep. A couple of bump beds just in case, you know, people are sleeping over. Nice window to let in light when it is actually daytime, but then you've got the watchtower now. This is like uh, the new watchtower to the village kind of thing. Sorry, I fell in. Um, you got up here. This is where all like the the bows and arrows would have been and stuff like that. They can see through this. You know, oh crap, we're getting attacked. You know, sound the bell, blah blah blah. Uh, and then you get up here, and you've got basically full 360 view of what what's going on. And you can see everything. As you can see, I've got a glow. Uh, bleh, glow. I, I can't remember what they're called now. Glow. Glow blocks. Um, I'm really confused on what they're called. Oh, but I know it's glow something. I'm pretty sure it's glow something. Uh, just because I know you get glow dust from it. But I can't remember the name. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. But basically, I'm using them as like street lights um, with trap doors on them. You know, and another thing I wanted to do this as well because I've never really seen a village kind of thing, like, done on the Xbox. Like, never. I've, I've, I've looked around and they've all looked... Like, I have seen villages, but they, I don't think... Like, tooting my own horn here, I don't think any of them have looked, you know, as decent and the, decent as this. And I reckon if I was to have continued this like I wanted to, then this could have been really good, really big. Um, that's what she said. Oh, um, but yeah, like, this house is kind of boring. Um, they've all got, like, something individual about them that makes them that their own kind of house. Like, this one has this, like, little patio area um, with a nice little deck chair outside. And you go on the upstairs. Again, bookshelves just use them mainly for, you know, decorative purposes. Like, as you can see them everywhere. This one's got also a jukebox, double bed for the parents. And, you know, these the, whoever lives in there has two kids. Also, you got, like, doors going onto stairs leading to closets and stuff like that. Um, so, as you can see, like, I am quite a big Minecraft fan. Um, even though I don't really play it anymore because my computer's too slow. So, when I, you know, creative mode did come out on this, I did it. Um, I had to find a flat area as well to do it. This house, again, nice, nice floor. Um, I really, like, this was meant to be, like, the, the kind of sitting area next to the kitchen. Um, and I remember, I can't remember where I've seen it, but like, I love the idea of having, um, like a little, I don't know, like a place to, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, like, um, a block in the middle of the house, um, like not a block, but like in real life where you could sit next to it and it kind of divides the room without, with keeping the space like really open, like, as you can see, it divides this bit here, this bit basically is its own area, but it's still it's only three by three, but it feels big because it, there's no what there's no actual wall, if you get what I mean. Um, and I really like the stairs to this house. It's like quite compact. Got a little shelf area here. Again, single beds for the children. And again, nice this sitting area. I really do like like you get on the couch or whatever it is, um, and you can just look out the window and see the front gate, see the fountain. As you can see, there's benches outside, and you know it just. It, some of the houses, like, I, I really am proud of 
how I've designed them, like each one's different, each one took me a while, especially to decorate and stuff like that as well. And then finally the last house, as you can see there was the door there, um, there's also the front door, this is the one with my two doggies, um, I don't have a name for them, I'm just going to call this one Jasper and this one John. So Jasper and Jonathan, uh, as you can see you've got a rug in the middle, nice couches, nice table, this one's quite big with a smallish kitchen. Uh, and again we've got that nice stair design that I like. You go up to the stairs, you also got a little window here, um, and then a very big, spacey bedroom. Again, double beds for the kids, nice desk area, uh, double for the moment. And then this extra little bit here, I don't know why I decided to put this on, I just wanted to challenge myself. But again, it's got like a nice little chair. You can see the, um, the NPC village over there. Wow, this video is actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be literally about a five minute video. Um, we'll, we'll show you, I'll show you the prison even though I haven't really done much with it, like, and then we can have a look. So here's the, how you get up to the old abandoned watchtower that could probably still be used now I guess, but I'd like not to think so. Yeah, right, I'll show you the, the this was meant to be the prison wall, um, there was no way up to it yet, like, there was, I was going to design a tower like, just looking exactly like these. Um, where you could actually get up to the top. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I made a way up to the top actually. I'm not too sure. Like it, there's, there's supposed to be anyway. Like um, supposed to be a ladder going up one of these. And you know the the prison guards are set up here with the bow and arrows and the cigarettes. And you know this was meant to be the art the yard for all the criminals. Um, but as you can see, I've had to do each individual block by hand, so it's took me ages. The walkway going to the next tower. Um, you know, each tower I've done, like I've not copied and pasted or anything like I can do on the computer. Um, just using like MC Edit and stuff like that. So it's taken a long time, which is why I think I did get bored with it. Like there was one point where this I'd come on and I, pl I must have played for hours on end. And, you know, I'd, I'd design a house and then if I messed it up, like I did with one of these, um, I, I had to destroy it all by hand, there was no no brushes or anything like that like you can do on the computer. Uh, and then this was going to be like a market stall, but this is kind of where I lost inspiration. I came back to it when it was slightly new, I'm just waiting for um, the slabs, oh, slabs, oh my god, um, so that you can place them upside down like you can do on the computer because that's what I've been waiting for for ages like you can literally uh, right now that slab would be there and then you could get rid of them and it, it just creates a lot more space and whatnot um, but yeah this is meant to be like the market area I was going to do a load of them um, just you know like this but obviously different colors and want to be like meat want to be fish and you know uh, wood cloth all that kind of good stuff but yeah so guys this is like like I said I've never seen anybody do this kind of village like I've seen villages but they've all been pretty poopy if I'm honest so this is like in me one of the best villages that I've seen on the Xbox version you know if you think so too you might not even like this video you know if Minecraft might not be your thing, maybe you just subscribe for FIFA, which is fair enough, but like I said, I am going to be posting other videos every now and then, not all the time, like FIFA is going to be the main focus on my channel, um, but yeah, if you did like this video guys, could you please drop it a like, could you please, if you're new to it, please subscribe, you know, um, I'm not really, well, I'm going to try and not advertise on other channels as much anymore, because I have actually been, uh, I've been blocked by Nepenthes and Catgum Tom, even though I didn't advertise on Catgum Tom's videos, like I must have done it on one, I think, one or two. Um, but yeah, I've been blocked on them too, and it's kind of disappointing because I actually did enjoy watching their stuff, but now I have to go through all this messing about to watch it, and I just simply can't be bothered. So uh, I'm not really going to be advertising on other people's channels anymore. So yeah, it's going to be a long, long way to gain subscribers now which I'm not too fussed about I'm happy you know with the 266 subscribers that I've got I really appreciate every subscriber um, but you know like when I gain more subscribers that makes me want to produce more content if you get what I mean like right now um, I'm still on the hype of getting to 250 but then in say two weeks of them only at like 270 or something it's going to be like oh well maybe people don't want to watch my stuff anymore or maybe you know I need to change it up and that might not 
be what you guys want to watch, like, kind of thing. If you understand what I mean, like, I'm not just doing this for you subscribers and stuff but subscribers help me get videos out like i don't want to sound like a um a dick or anything if you get what i mean like like it's hard to explain like i know what i mean in my head like you know my i, I said like a lot because i'm panicking now <laughs> um but anyway guys right before i say anything like i've got both feet in my mouth now before i say anything more i will see you all next time bye